What's going on YouTube family? It's your boy Malik Washington once again hitting you with another video. I am in a different scenery because I'm always on the move, but today I have some advice for the singles. Stay tuned. So today for the singles, what we're going to be talking about is person versus purpose. Understanding the difference and understanding who's actually for you. We all have the desire to find out who is that special person for us. So when it comes to this topic, so many of us create a list of exactly who we want, the type of person that we're looking for, but do you ever tie it in with the purpose that God has for your life? Have you really looked into that? Because if that person is not going to be right for you or they're not going to support the purpose that God has given you, then therefore they're a counterfeit. So you have to understand exactly who God needs in your life to flourish the purposes that he has for you. At some point in life, we have to start to develop what our purpose is and what we actually need. I understand for what my purpose is in life and where God has me, the type of woman that I need is going to be one that's going to be a nurturer, is going to be a family woman, and most likely going to be one that wants to stay home. She might develop a business from home, but she will be a stay-at-home mom to raise the children because I'm going to be out, I'm going to be traveling, I'm going to be doing so many different things, and I understand that that's my purpose for my life and where God has me. So therefore, when I look for a woman, I have to look for these qualities within her because that's what I need versus what I want. On the other hand, when you're talking about the woman, she also has to understand what her purpose is as well and where God has her. What are her future endeavors? If she understands that she's not going to be a stay-at-home mom or she's not going to want children, then therefore our, our paths don't need to cross. And we need to figure that out. If we go on a date and we both understand that, hey, she wants to be a doctor and I'm going to be traveling around, that's probably not going to be the best relationship for us. Yes, some people make it work. But our purpose is going to be linked together. Do they really match up? I would say no. So therefore, for both of us and protecting both of our hearts and protecting both of our purposes, then we should split and go different directions and find the people that are going to match our innate calling and our purposes. I think so often we get so caught up in everything else that comes about with relationships. This is what I want. This is what I need. Does she cook? Does she clean? Does she have a nice smile? Is she blonde? Is she brunette? Does she have dark hair? Is she African American? Is she Spanish? Is she white? Is she Asian? We focus on so many different aspects, but we never come back to our innate purpose and understanding what is our calling in life and what has God called us to do in this very time. And does that person have what it takes to support our calling? And does that person have or do they line up with the calling for our life? And just for future reference, it takes a little bit. It, there's a there's a two-step process when it comes to women when they're saying yes or no to a man if that's the right man for them. It's not just going to be aligning with your purpose, but is he going to be the proper leader for a household as well? Is he going to be able to lead you? Is he going to be able to help you to develop in knowledge and in your purpose as well? It, there's, there's a two-step process because a man, when he finds his purpose and a woman to support him in that purpose, he's already going to be in a place to lead within his purpose and support her and she support him because of how everything is set up. But if you're a woman and you are featuring to be a lawyer or a doctor or things like that and that's God's calling on your life, you also have to make sure that that man is, is, is going to be a proper leader. Even the stay-at-home mom, you have to make sure he's a proper leader before anything else. Is he going to actually love me for who I am and help me develop to be the woman that I need to be? Is he going to be the leader of the household if I want kids? Is he going to be able to have that trickle-down effect within that pyramid to say, hey, I'm trusting in Christ. This is where I'm at then I'm going to endeavor to give you that information so therefore it spreads to our children as well. What's the purpose? Understand that God is not going to give you a purpose where the well is going to run dry. So when you're looking for that spouse and you're looking for that significant other, understand that if their purpose is not one that's going to lead to flourishing or it's not going to support the family that you're looking for, then therefore that person's purpose doesn't fit with the person. As well so you have to look at the provision as well so when a woman comes to me or my girlfriend right now she were to come to me and say hey I want to be a stay-at-home mom which she does because that fits my purpose that's why we're together um, that's not the only reason why we're together but that's an important part of it she fits my purpose she can support that and my provision and what I'm trying to do in life supports the lifestyle that we actually want and what we actually need if you meet a person that has a purpose that's actually not going to support 
the lifestyle that's needed for what you would say the purpose that God has given you, then therefore they might not be the person for you. So not to stray too far away from the topic that we're talking about, person versus purpose. I say all of that to say that the person should fit around the purpose that God has given you. You should never subtract your purpose for a person. Be very mindful because you will always regret it. God has an innate calling for all of us and we all have something that we can offer to the world that's going to help people in need. We all provide a service to each other. So therefore, if that person is going to take you away from that service or that calling that God has given you, then they're a counterfeit. They're not, they're not the right person for you. So be mindful in your decisions and be mindful to find out what your purpose is before you add someone to your life. If that person is going to support your purpose and therefore you checked off one from the list. Keep going. And another thing, so I do not forget those that are already in a relationship or already married, this video is for you too. And don't be discouraged because you chose someone and you didn't know this information before versus, as far as purpose versus person. But that person that you're with, it might take some work, but they can be the person that's going to support your purpose. But you guys have to link together and you guys are really going to have to work on the mindset that it takes in order to go forward in your endeavors and, and link those together. Um, but ultimately, it's going to be based off of love. Do you truly love that person enough to support what they have going on and figuring out how that fits within you guys' schedule, fits within the family dynamics and, and really work to figure out how that's going to be best suited for you guys. Normally it comes down to mindset, um, whether that person's negative and they're not supporting you or they don't believe that you can do something, that you have this extraordinary idea. It's going to take time and it's going to take some optimism, but therefore it could still take place. It could still happen. So be encouraged with that and continue to grow in your relationships with God and grow in life in general because people are needed. People are going to need us as servants to help them develop in different ways. So never, 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 never discourage your purpose or person. And just a side note so I can cover all bases. This does not mean that that person is not going to come in your life before you find your purpose. Yes, there's instances where people find their purpose after they've added the person. But obviously God's going to take care of you in that realm. So just be seeking Christ no matter what. Be careful with what you're doing. Figure out what your likes, your dislikes, because God can send you the opposite of you, which is going to help you support your purpose and is going to bring you full circle basically they're gonna their strengths are gonna be your weaknesses and their weaknesses might be your strengths which is what we actually want so therefore when you're looking for that person to fit your purpose uh, the, the person that's mostly like you and that likes the same things might not be the best person to help you fulfill that purpose so there's that direction as well keep that in mind um, check all my other social media in the link in the description box below. I thank you guys for viewing this video and there's more to come. You guys have a blessed one. Later.